21st annual San Diego International Film Festival is underway tonight with the theme putting the focus all on the stars this evening. Our Kathleen Bade is live on the red carpet in La Jolla to show us the Night of the Stars tribute. Hey, Kathleen. Hi, nice to see you, Andrew. And this is really the first time since the pandemic that they've been able to roll out the red carpet once again, bring back the Night of Stars, and really thank them for their contributions and talk about their body of work and what they've done for the industry. And what a way to come back when the big award winner tonight that they're paying tribute to is an actor the caliber of Andy Garcia. You know him from The Untouchables, Godfather 3, When a Man Loves a Woman, and of course, the Ocean's Eleven franchise. And I had a chance to talk to him earlier about being the recipient of the prestigious Gregory Peck Award. You are the recipient of the Gregory Peck Award. You're in some impressive company. It's what does great. that mean to you? It's a great privilege, really. I'm honored to be here. You know, uh, Gregory Peck has been an inspiration to all us actors for so many generations. So to think that, uh, that somehow my name is associated with him is a great honor. And I was, uh, like I said, it's a privilege. You're also associated with Annette Benning now, a local San Diegan who yeah. received it, as well as Alan Arkin and That's Lawrence right. Fishburne. How yeah. does it feel to be amongst that group? Amazing. These are our colleagues of mine. And, you know, uh, both Annette and Lawrence, uh, I've, I've never worked with Annette, but we are friends. I've worked with Lawrence and I've worked a couple of times with Alan. And, uh, you know, these are, these are sublime actors, you know. And Alan in particular is a great inspiration to me. You know. What's it mean you were born in Cuba, raised yeah. in America, and here you are standing on the red carpet tonight, being measured for that gold standard of, a, of an actor of Gregory Peck. What's that journey like, that arc? Uh, it's, you know, these are, these are dreams that I had as a very young man, you know, and it's, uh, you have to give it up to the men upstairs to giving you the fortitude and uh, having given you that, that that strength to stay in the game, you know, and it's amazing sometimes, you know, if people can learn from the fact that your dreams somehow can be accomplished if you if you dedicate yourselves to them and not get sidetracked with the things that are unnecessary, you know, so it's a great blessing. And I asked Andy Garcia what he has left to do. I mean, he sang as Fernando with Cher. He was married to Meg Ryan in When a Man Loves a Woman. And he also was Julia Roberts' boyfriend. And he chuckled and he said, there's a lot more he wants to do. He's also a director. And believe it or not, he's also a Grammy winner. So Andy Garcia really has done it all. So he is tonight's uh, big award, the Gregory Peck Award, which is particularly special here at the San Diego Film Festival, Andrew, because Gregory Peck's daughter, Cecilia Peck, she is on the board here. She is part of selecting an actor who she feels represents her dad, who, of course, for all the young San Diegans, the younger generations, you would know Gregory Peck as the actor in To Kill a Mockingbird, among many other films. So it's very prestigious. It's one of many awards tonight, but he says it's one that he will hold very near and dear to his heart, Andrew. Yeah, it's neat to hear how humble he is about uh, being mentioned with Gregory Pack and Andy Garcia, certainly one of the great actors of our time. And like you said, so many iconic roles and, and the more work that he does is more of a, a gift to all of us. Uh, talk to us a little bit, Kathleen, about who else you've seen out there. I know there's been a, a number of names that you've mentioned throughout the evening that's, uh, who are expected to be out there tonight. Who else have you seen? Well, I talked to Regina Hall, the actress who most people will know from the scary movie franchise, kind of mocking scary movies, and we talked a little bit about this is her season. And she says she has a lot of people come up to her all the time trying to be Brenda, her character, which was really joyous. But she's the recipient of the Cinema Vanguard Award, and that really is about somebody who's tenacious and just pushes through and continues to create and contribute to the industry. Tony Hale is expected to be here any moment. We have seen some incredible uh, documentarians. They have some very powerful stories that are playing here at the San Diego Film Festival. 115 films in all. Um, the bulk of them are feature films, but they also have documentaries and short films. So from tonight all the way till Sunday, you can get passes, you can get packages, and you can come out and support the San Diego Film Festival and also go see any of these movies and support the movie industry in particular the theaters that were hit so hard during the pandemic and all of them Andrew 
You can go to our website, fox5sandiego.com. You can get passes there, learn more about it. But they're all playing at Westfield UTC in La Jolla at the AMC 14 Cinema. Wonderful. Great thing to be a part of here in San Diego. So many great things going on in our city uh, this week especially. But uh, really great to see all the stars here uh, tonight. Kathleen, thank you so much. Give my best to Tony Hale. He's my favorite. Not somebody I know yet, but somebody <laughs> I admire very much. <laughs> Thanks, Kathleen.